will be cool. Hi guys, this is Matty Ace coming at you here with a video about some longer kill streaks and of course also survivability since uh, those two things goes hand in hand. And uh, I'm actually going to make a couple of videos like this and I'm going to separate it between the classes. This time we're starting off as a medic and the next one, if everything goes as planned, we'll be doing the same thing as assault. Now at first here I took my normal path, or one of the first paths between B and D that I uh, started using oh, during guys. the beta. As you saw, by using smoke and by sticking close to the canal, uh, sticking to the low ground, I was able to stay out of line of sight of the snipers and whoever is camping here around D. But now once that I'm here I've realized there's a little bit too many for me to just go YOLO in and try to cap this flag. So I'm going to stick to the outskirts of it and uh, just get close enough like here to see if uh, anything changes in a way allowing me to be a little bit more aggressive and try to go for a cap. Now what happens here instead is that my team is capping C and we're losing A while the enemies are quite heavily defending D still. So instead of PTFOing at this point in time, I decide to try to go for flanks and take advantage of the fact that I'm in a position that is probably not that easy for my opponents to predict. So now I'm running a little low on ammo here and there are two options to resupply unless I loot from enemies. So first here I try to see if D is a little bit less contested. It was not, so instead of trying to go there and resupply, I uh, take my two bullets and I resupply here outside between should I say between D and E, so to speak. So now during this whole time of running around outside of D, I've been hoping that more of my teammates, especially my squad mates, are going to join me so that we can attack D together. Now, for whatever reason that hasn't happened yet, despite the fact that my squad leader has had D marked for quite some time. And how I survive the next situation here, I have no idea. Oh, shit. Now personally, as you may or may not know, I really like this medic weapon. I have to my big surprise also realized that some of you guys watching this are not nearly as enthusiastic about this new SMG for the medic class as I am. And at the end, I was killed by it as well. No! 95. Oh, he has the same weapon. <laughs> Now since I'm done with the ZK with uh, getting the gold skins, I have recently switched to the MP40. And this weapon actually used to be my favorite during the beta, but it was nerfed a bit, I believe, or maybe it's just my imagination. And even though there are situations when this weapon is really good, it's really not any of my favorites. Every once in a while I have a good killstreak going though. Here, as you can see, I'm in the beginning of uh, a round on Devastation and I decided to go on the left side flank or well, on the left side inside of the C flag because this is not really a flank. And one of the things that I did in the beginning there was again to use the smoke. And uh, the reason why I used the smoke so early on is because many times when I tried to push forward as far as this, I've been killed before I get into a good position. The smoke, however, allows me to quite safely progress another 20, maybe 30 meters. Of course, the problem is that I don't have any more smoke now that I need to go for a revive. This time, it worked out anyway. I need ammo! So, moving over to Hamada, and I gotta admit, I haven't played much medic on this map. The fact is, on this, the northern side of the bridge, there's three flags, E, F and G, that uh, among these three flags you can have a lot of good infantry gameplay. Now what happens on this map normally on Conquest is that this map is for the most part divided into what seems like two different maps and the fights going on on the other side of the bridge normally is totally separated from this side. Now for obvious reasons this can be both good and bad, but surprisingly enough Many times I've had a really, really good amount of fun infantry gameplay on this particular area.
Oh, I, I couldn't see him. I w what the fuck? This game. So hard to see enemies. It's so hard to see enemies in this game. Holy shit. So yeah, one of the keys to the success of being able to stay alive and get these longer kill streaks is definitely the ability of self-healing. You'll see that throughout the entirety of this video, you see it right here, and you'll see a lot more of it if you continue watching. I'm going to end the post commenting here because again, I'm having a really sore throat from having a very long lasting stream earlier today. Anyway, I hope you will enjoy the rest of the video. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. Get past up, soldier. Okay, I expect to see it, soldier. <laughs> Got first aid for you. Good shot. Well, we have lost Damn. Damn son, it's a long kill streak this. for away Don't like the looks of that
I've got you, soldier. Sniped! Oh, there he was. Ah, oh, shit, there was more. Ah. Ah. I was going to go for revives. Can't see him, which is pretty much the point.
Ah.